it's easy to take the basic things in life for granted, such as the use of our arms. So imagine waking up in a hospital bed to find that you've lost an arm. I owned a seismic shuttle rig. I started that when I was 18, and um, I started my own business when I was 26. I was training a new fella on the, on the rig and ended up getting wrapped up in the drill pipe. It pulled me into the rig and I woke up on the ground. Just got a phone call that Kevin was hurt, but we didn't know what to expect. We just packed everyone up into a couple of vehicles and drove all the way up to Edmonton. It's just uh, a change of lifestyle, I guess. Uh, you know, there was lots of days where you just, you kind of wondered what you were gonna do, but um, I never worried about it that much, that's for sure. I just love to shoot a bow and, and um, that was one of my, my main things that I wanted to be able to try to do after my accident. The first time he went to the Canadian Nationals, he phoned me and, and I said, how'd you guys do? And he said, well, uh, I won it. And I said, what? And he said, I won the whole overall and we were just blown away. Before my accident, uh, you know, I would have laughed. You know, if I would have went anywhere in the world, it would have been for a hunting trip somewhere. It wouldn't have been going to shoot a bow in Italy or Korea or, or wherever. So, yeah, I've got to see uh, a lot of the world um, after my accident. It was exit 9 o'clock. <laughs> All those fine archers, what we have in the region, winning the winter games and provincial championship. And last year I have one guy there who won Canadian Nationals and they are all inspired by, by watching him and saying, now this guy can do it, my goodness, what stopped me? You, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow, so uh, yeah. Try not to put off what you want to do today because uh, it might not be the next day.